Alright, hello, welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. I'm Luigi Van 64 d Yeah, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but, um, yeah. We're finally back here, starting up again, so... Th this is just gonna be a little quick Secret Reports Unlock Mission thing. Uh, this is gonna, probably gonna, this is gonna be a little choppy, and a bunch of pins are evolving. Thank you. This is gonna be a little choppy, I'm gonna focus on the missions, and it's gonna be rapid fire, so... Yeah, I'll just skip that. I'll just skip that. All right, let's start from day one of Cheeky. All right, let's do this. What we only gotta do is find the nose glasses. Remember then how the, it started at the beginning? Out of my face! You're blocking my view. Shut up! Stop talking. Deku didn't like anyone. Just go the hell away. Anyone. All the world needs is me. I got my values. So you can keep yours, alright? Sure thing, Neku. I don't get people. Never have, never will. Oh, but that'll change, sir. Just watch. It'll change dramatically. It's hard to believe he changed that drastically, but... Uh, who wouldn't? After all he's been through. And we wake up, and we're at the Scramble Crossing. And... Wait, why is Neko at the Scramble Crossing? And no one seems to pay attention to a dude on the floor. Oh, he looks at his hand, and he has seven days left. The time is taking down down to an hour, and there's a bunch of floating noise. Huh? Frogs, frog. Ah, no. All right. So now that we have pins. We can actually fight these dudes, right? No, we can't. So even then, I don't think they'll do anything right now, even on ultimate. So let's bounce. Yeah. And... yeah. All right. These frogs are hurting us, and now, ah, no one's paying attention. Oh no, they're just now. Oh, okay, now I'm going to tell you the entire plot right now. Neku is running away from all of his problems, despite and running away from all the people around him, and the entire city. And here's some here's some side characters. And Shiki's wondering why why she looks like that. Beats running for rhyme, and Joe sure is the composer. Here's some more side characters. Red rhyme falls down. Tries beat failed to save her life. Saves her anyway when it's pin rhyme. Shiki and Eri, all the noise around them. Neku and Shiki fight together. Megumi and all of the open right reapers and the composer and all of the game masters. And now Neku runs away. Neku runs away from his from like his ideals of the past. He runs away from everything that he thought that he knew concrete information is now a lie to him. And now he has to run away from all of that. And the new, and he has to adapt with the new reality. Shiki has to get over her problems with her, with her jealousy, Yashira has to decide whether he wants to destroy the place or not. And Beat has to stop being a hero and actually, like, calm down. Power's yet no man. And that, I just told you the entire plot. You didn't even have to watch this entire series. There you go. Alright, so after that, you notice that Yashira's staying right there. Um, we've made it from frogs. Oh no, the frogs are still chasing us. Pact formed. Okay, now the Shiki joined us, threw us a fire pin, and you already know how we fight. I did this since day one, and we just the fire pin. Surprisingly, I only do 10 damage. Maybe because I'm on ultimate mode, but I do 10 damage to him. All right, I'm just gonna fry him, set him on fire. He's done. All right, now. All right, after all the frogs are done, go to Hichiko, and wasn't there someone standing here? Uh. Yeah, go to a Chico, stand right in front of him. Can I go shopping? No. Go to Chico, stand right in front of him, and this thing will pop up. This... Huh? What's this box? Oh, snap! It's... Nose glasses! Novelty item funny to reduce the seriousness of everything. Uh, nose glass. 
we're basically going to get a bunch of random items like this, like nose glasses. Increases, decreases attack by four, by 15, but it defense by 40. So now let's go to day two. Um, meet up with the secret. Yeah. You wouldn't have known that unless you beat the game. See, they're supposed to meet up at a Chico. Yeah, you can read them, but I'll skip that for later. Um, day two. I got all the pig noise, and you need to collect Shiki's day one, so now we gotta get the sailor suit. With the hint, yep, he's a monumental freak. Yeah, <laughs> wonder what that could be. So this is day two. The second day. Alright, remember we can scan. This is when Neku first realized the, about the metagame of this. He can't scan Reapers or players, but he can scan for noise. And read other normal people's minds. Hmm? I got more than just this fire pin? I've got a whole bunch, you say? Yeah, they're in my pocket. I got a whole bunch here. Why not test them out? Well, how? Remember the flame pin yesterday? This one? Well, I, was, I wasn't able to use it, so... Alright. So maybe I can just try them all. What about a hassle? What is this, an RPG? Alright, so... Sadly, you can't... You're forced to use the pins. I'm just gonna check my equipment, because... Yes. Unfortunately, you're forced to use the pins for this next... Test out your pins. And I really want her to have those equipped. That's a good buff. My pins are all set. I really want to replace Pop Gwyn with something better. I, I'll do that later. I'll get a better pin later. Alright. So, when you fight these things again, just fl click all three of them. And now, you'll fight with whichever one you click first. This one is the Thunderbolt and Force Rounds pin. Pretty easy. Again, you only deal basic dam basic damage. They don't even hurt me. I'm that high leveled or something. Alright, they're done. Now I just gotta toast this one. And you'll experience an interesting glitch, which has you skip the other two fights. And it still gives you the end for it. So, alright, we have to scan for the noise, which is pretty simple. That takes care of all of them. Wall, wall clear, done. And then he explains them, then he realizes Reapers are part of the game. But we can use all these pins! Alright, even though I only use two. Psychic genius? Well, come on. Only a couple pins doesn't make you genius. Don't be naive. The big question is, where are these come from? What? I have two player pins. Really? How to get those? What's it, what's it mean? What's it matter if I have two player pins or not? How should I know? Play, all player pins do are just cancel out the O pin, but that, we don't know about that. Um. But, um, two is better than one. So, like, don't feel bad. You don't want to say I need one. Think how lucky I am. You're right. So I'm just gonna ignore her. Oh. She keeps looking at her phone for a reason I'm gonna tell you later. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so after you free the Maui statue. Oh, we're all better now. I'm so glad. He can tell? In a way, it's kind of impressive. Hey, Chico seems down late, too. Alright, then he tells you Chico's curse as well, and... Hmm? What's this box? <gasps> oh, snap! Inside is... A sailor suit! Well, I didn't mean to sing it like that. It's a little weird. But you get a sailor suit. Good old Sailor Fugu. Oh, the, oh, purity. Remember the days of the dress code? I don't. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's way too much bravery for anyone. And I don't want to see your shirt wear that. I don't know why he popped in my mind. Okay, so let's just... Uh, we got that. Now for day three. We needed Shiki day two. All the pig noise. We can get a Yukata with the Forgotten Ramen. And we gotta fight a boss. This is the third day. Remember this scene? That cliffhanger? That I didn't even do on my own? And Neku realized that he was a Jedi and... See, after now that I've done the game, I can kind of joke about this. Even if I don't find my own jokes funny. And then, this is the first time where we meet Mr. H, Senai Hanakoma. Who, who like... He knows way too much about this game. But he saves N Neku and Shiki. Because if Shiki died, the Neku would die too. From well, they'd be erased. But like, yeah. And then Neku apologizes. Shiki's like, well, "Don't worry, it's cool. I should have stood up myself." And see, Mr. Hanako is like, "Awesome, you're partners. Remember that, trusted partner." And then we realize that 
that Shiki is really trying to get to know Neku, which is odd because she doesn't even she isn't even herself. But Neku has amnesia, which is unfortunate. Could me well, I thought the thing funny is she could have told me sooner, but oh well. And there she is looking at her phone. If you look at it, she she keeps looking at it for some reason. There's her and her. Well, there's her and her friend Eri, but if you realize that the one blocked out is the real her. She looks like her friend Eri right now. But but what she's covering up the phone? Is she trying to hide it? What else is she trying to hide? Well, why don't you figure out what your th what your past is first, Neku? All right, all right. There's the mission, and we gotta go to A East. Well, if you look in the top right now, there's a boss here. Uh, there there the, isn't here. It's it's up here. Focus. Out of whack. All right. Um, this is in the. Your senses. I can hear, but it's not here. All right. So later, let's go to. After you first get the tech over to triple seven, go down here. Actually, I think. No, I didn't do that yet. My bad. Ugh. No day with no sales. No ramen looks plain. But it's just taste. Yeah, after you get... This is after you get in there. Like your phone. Or a meme. After you get the tech to triple seven. And then he start, Then you're supposed to give him the fuse meme. Go back to... To, uh... The Dogen Zaka. And the ramen Don. To get the ramen meme. Then you go up to... Sorry, triple seven. Go up to... The back to the tech and give him that meme. I'm walking into a hole. Alright, here. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. Let's try it again. There's the prompt. Alright, here. Ramen! Hmm? Actually, I'm kinda hungry. Yeah. Something for lunch I left before I could eat it. I'm gonna make that mistake again. Time to get my noodle on! Gotta hurry! He's kinda desperate for noodles. Alright, so let's keep going over. Let's follow him back to Ramen Don. Because noodles. Alright. Dogen Zaka. Alright, he went inside. Let's go. Let's follow him. Don't want to go in Cosmic Corner. That's a weird shop. And... Oh. Neku, there he is. He's not buying the party. He's, he's eating? There you are. The Ramen Don Special. Wait. You know, before it gets cold. Wait just a second. Hmm? Oh, man. I'm supposed to pick up that part. Wait, sir, your noodles! Ugh, I can't win. Young people just won't eat old-fashioned noodles. Neku, after him! What? Man, what's this box? <gasps> oh, snap! It's a yukata! Summer, festivals, fireworks, endless eight. Anyway. Um, so, we got a yukata. But, nah, just too much bravery so no one can wear it. What? Men can wear yukatas. It's true. To do. But it's actually it's a pretty good item. Um alright, so now we gotta find that boss. It's yeah. And you gotta fight it. If you want the story, you gotta do it, do it on hard and above. I'm gonna do it at level one, cause I'm like that. Alright, let's just go back to A East. Cause he is in the concert stage. I just gotta find where he is. You should be Yeah. All right, now where is this guy? I scanned around for him. Open up your senses. I can hear him pop up. Where is he? Oh, fuse. All right, there's the fuse meme. For those that forgot. For those that need it. All right, did I check this corner yet? There he is. Well, that's a weird. All right. Uh oh, I think I know what this one is. This should be the chapter boss. You're forced to use Shiki regardless of who you choose initially. But now that we're on... But even though I'm on ultimate, this dude's a whip. See, I just nailed everything. Now it's just my typical strategy. See, he, he's easy. This is on ultimate mode, and he's just being destroyed. Oh, multiplier, and... Done. And I got his ultimate drop. Yeah! Cause remember, I gotta clear out that noise port. I don't know, I don't know if I'll show it though, but... Oh well. Alright, I think we're done here. Alright, let's head on to day four, actually. Um, I'm just gonna check my noise port. Uh, cause you can check which noises you have. 
Yes, for Vespertio Canner, exactly 21 seconds. Alright, now back to day four. Uh, wait. I'm gonna adjust my level back. I don't know what I'm gonna fight. Uh, adjust it right. Alright, drop rate 64, levels 13. Got it. Now, I need Miss Claw's outfit. I said I wanna go shopping. And two bosses. Okay. And all the pig noise, but I already got those. I found most of them during my initial run. So this is the fourth day. Now this scene's important. This is when you realize that these are all of the game masters. We don't know it yet, but we can tell that these are people of power. Because if you look at them, they, that they're talking like really proficiently. I also get to tell all the little quirks. Like Miss Konishi on the left there, the Iron Maiden, talks really official and like, you know, all about statistics. Mr. Minimamoto talks about math and all that craziness, but he doesn't play well with others. Megumi seems to be the one in charge, because he's the boss, Meg, despite being called Megs by Minimamoto. And the big guy on the left is the game master, who, who likes to, as Mr. Momono popped out, and like talked about, he likes food. But he's actually really skilled in tactics, intel, well-powered, decisiveness, and performance, and he's just awesome. That's why they're making him the temporary game master from Mr. Kitaniji. And it's amazing that they tell you all this. Like, and as there's, there you go, cooperation's garbage, and he's done for his own doings. But this is a, this is a pretty important scene, because you get to tell that they're the ones in charge, because all of these people, they're like in their 20s or something, not even 30s, but they're like huge. They're just towering over your characters who are teens. Like 14, 15, 18 even. Yashura hides it well, because he's 18, but he's also the composer who makes himself look 18 in his human form. And putting up the doom. Just had to throw that in there. Alright. So, after we talk to Ryman Noise a bit, Ryman to Ryman and Beat a bit, they'll say, Shiki Chase wanted to go so shopping. Try to leave. Hey, Neku, I said I want to go to 10 4. O okay, fine. Hmm? What's this box doing here? Um. Oh, snap! It's. A Miss Claus outfit suit. Designed by Airy, sewn by Shiki. Yeah, and Shiki could use some food now that I think about it. I need to get her bravery up. Um, we'll increase bravery the best. I think that's pancakes. So yummy. There you go. All right, now, what do we get, Miss Claus outfit? Uh, it's kind of low bravery, but uh, what she has right now is better. can equip it. Use enough bravery. Maybe... No, that's weird. Um... So, alright. Now, there should be a boss up here, and... What's that? Is that the skull pin? Alright. So now he's Yashura, but... Oh, we're fighting Reaper Beat! That's just great. Thankfully, he's a lot easier. We can actually beat him now, because... That accidental pun. Because, like, Yashura can levitate now, and I'm... And I have a lot better pins, which doesn't make make it any difference. But you sure is able to actually attack better, and because of that, and has better strength, and I have better equips, and it's just better all around. And I'm on ultimate, and like I'm just destroying this. I'm just destroying him right now until he hit me once. He's beat. Remember, beat moves pretty insanely, but he doesn't. And he has a really good block, but he doesn't really do well at controlling both screens like I can. So he's a little not so good. And if you hit him while he's in midair, he'll kind of he'll be a little bit stunned. Ow! Really beat? And he's dead after I do this. Done. Erase. And I got his hard drop, but that's fine actually. By the way, when you his ultimate drop is shadow matter, not dark matter. Oh yeah, dark matter or shadow matter. I forget which. But his hard pin, his hard pin drop is really good too, because it's uh, down here, down here. That's one. I live for food. 
It's a pin designed by a Reaper who is a constant Jones for Curry and Rice. I've never used that word before in my life. So, yeah. This is actually a really good healing pin. Even though it only heals 30% four times. If you level it up twice more, it'll go up to 30% six times. And when you get the player puck, it goes up anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna leave that last boss for late... Oh, you... Beat him at level 1, though. It took me a minute. And the next boss is gonna be a pain. So I'm just gonna save it and end it here. I'm moving to N64D, and I am apparently really hyper in this episode. Alright, so this is Let's Play 1's with you. See you next time, Brian Your Horizons.